Hello guys, welcome back to part 39 of Double Homework, episode 6, I'm Miss Kira Takei, let's go. Not that I want to, it's more like we have to, to figure it out, you know? I understand. If we're going to do this, why don't we try something different? Something different? Well, if, for example, I touched you, maybe something different will happen. If you touched me? Yeah. Um... Okay, that sounds reasonable. I mean, this is an experiment, right? Right, nothing sexual about it at all. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Closer to the counter, that way people won't just see us there walking by. Good idea. Is it a good spot? Sure, I guess so. Do you want me to do this with a, in a specific way? Just as any way you would do it normally. Okay. I pull away from her. Did you feel the same way as I did? Dad, I wanted to kiss you. Yeah, I was going to pull you to me, but I knew... And I knew that you were getting hard and that made me feel more excited. I mean, I know we fought it when we were making out. Yeah, I know. I remember very well. <gasps> oh no! Miss Kiffer messed up. It's super messed up, but that's what makes it. It's so exciting. Yeah, I know. I keep thinking you're my friend, but that only made me want to go further. Well, this is going to sound crazy, but why don't we just try it? Um, try it? I hope you're not saying what I think you're saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but I was thinking about it. If we're careful, it'll be like we're not doing it at all. Um... I understand what you're saying, but that doesn't mean it isn't wrong. People just don't do whatever they want. I get angry at people. I might want to hurt them, but I never do. But this isn't hurting anyone. It's a victimless crime. I don't want to keep weird secrets from everyone. I'm falling apart even thinking about it. I haven't even done anything yet. Aren't you curious at all? Do you want to take this off the table? I expect a quick answer from Johanna, but she doesn't say anything for a few seconds. Let's put this on hold. That's what we've been doing, but fine, I understand. This is a super weird situation. I understand, let's just finish our lunch. Yeah, let's. Okay, <laughs> she's a creep. She's no, no better than Dennis at this point. That was a good lunch. It was. I hope that this doesn't affect our relationship. No matter what, I care about you. I care about you too. I'm going to get some exercise. Thanks, I'll see you in class. Now, to work off some of this tension. Tamara, what are you- Tamara stares at me playfully. Like, she's trying to curse me with her eyes. It was her words, however, that were truly vindictive. I'm going to do something you hate. You wait and see. What? That didn't sound like PMS, she sounded more like a Yuma Thurman from Kill Bill. That scares me. I love that movie! Stop it! You make me want to watch it again and again. I think I've seen it at least three times. And that's just because I'm trying to restrain <laughs> from watching it more and more. Like, oh my god, I love it. It's hard, having a painful erection throughout lunch. And now I have to walk around with it. I tucked into my waistband. I gotta do something about it. Maybe some exercise and a cold shower will do the trick. It's Rachel's day, isn't it? She says she doesn't care anymore, so let's put that theory to the test. Let's see if she will break my balls or I can just... Oh, what happens? Rachel! At first, I don't know what to think with Rachel sitting on the bench, but then her pain's expression. Did you hurt yourself? Uh, a, a little. I heard a pop. A pop. As an athlete, about a dozen common sports injuries come to mind. Some inconsequential. Some crippling. How loud? I don't know. Loud enough to hear? Can you walk? I can, but I hate to ask. Put your pride aside, Rachel. Whatever you need. Just help me, okay? Of course. Rachel sweats, cries out when she puts pressure on the leg. I take as much weight as I can. Where do you want to go? Uh, to the nurse office. Uh, if she's even here. Let me take a look first, okay? I've dealt with shit like this before. 
I... It's the summer. You don't want to limp over the day here only to find her gun. That's true. <laughs> That's something you were too scared to do before. I wouldn't say scared. Really? I had to suck your dick constantly. There was nothing you loved more than that. I feel like I hate as much as I blew you. Not that I mind it, but some reciprocation would have been nice. I guess you've got it now. Yeah. Months after we stopped dating. Ugh. How does this happen? Sex with an ex. I always heard people ended up having flings with exes more than not, but I never believed them until now. It's just that an ex is easy. You've laid out all the groundwork. <laughs> exactly. It's simpler somehow. And are we doing us again? Because I spent so much energy getting you out of my mind, it's hard to pick up where we left off. My life is a total clusterfuck, I so I don't know. I do know that it felt good, that I licked it. Let's just leave it for leave it be for now. It doesn't have to mean anything. Yeah. Rachel looks thoughtful for a moment, then she smiles at me. <laughs> You've changed. For the better. At least she has a high opinion of me. Alright. Let's see what's going to happen next. Oh my god, why is it so slow? Alright. It's going. You ready to head home? Yeah, let's go. For some reason, conversation is easier. Now that there isn't still a lot of weirdness between us, but it doesn't feel like we got something resolved. We talk about our classmates, about homework, about the future, and then we finally arrive home. It's almost I'm almost tempted to tell her about Rachel. But you surely do a uh, good thing if you don't. Do you think we should have dinner with Tamara? She hates me right now, but why not, right? That's the spirit. Tamara! Tamara! Joanna cries it out, but no answer. Do you think we should? Miski, just because you can't find someone doesn't make it an emergency. If Tamara doesn't show up, we'll just have dinner without her. That's very sensible. You... really think I will react when I can't find someone? Um, uh, maybe. That's a way of saying yes. It's just... Tamara said something weird. She said she'd do something at hate, and that has me worried. Well, she does say a lot of things like that. She can be pretty mean. She barely ever does anything for real. Barely ever? That means she does do things, right? I think you need to stop worrying so much. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So Joanna and I have dinner. That does little for the disquieting feeling in my heart. I feel like I need to find Tamara, if only for a little bit. Joanna, I'm going out for a walk. This time of night? Yeah. We live in a safe neighborhood, so... Sounds fun. Yeah, okay. Ah. <sighs> okay, let's see. This is a long shot. Do I really expect to randomly run into her? And why am I even looking for? Why do I care? On the other hand, if Tamara were to do something I'd hate, she would want me to know about it. Where would she go? It turns out I don't have to look far to find out. I knew it. I knew it. There she is, standing practically outside the apartment with... Dennis? The motherfucker! Why? What is Tamara thinking? Alright. If you really like it, then it's up to you. Your choice. Coming up in double homework. Alright. And episode 7 is something we'll face in the next video. I hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. Bye.